With COVID-19 restrictions relaxed across the United States, international travel is gradually coming back, and many hospitality executives have their eyes on visitors from China. We, again, did have a very difficult time after COVID, as did everybody else. Um, but as we were getting out of it, and as we were getting busier and busier, the market that has not fully come back yet is international, and specifically the Chinese market. So for us to have the opportunity to bring the um, Chinese community back would be huge. The number of Chinese visitors to the United States increased eightfold from 2005 and 15, and they're now among the biggest spenders. But a recent survey by Morning Consult, a global research data company, shows that trend may not continue for long. As 23% of Chinese mainland respondents say they're not that interested in visiting the U.S., with an additional 22% saying they're not interested at all. Putting the U.S. at the bottom of the list of preferred destinations by Chinese travelers behind Europe, U.K., Australia, Canada, Japan and South Korea. The survey found that 57% of Chinese travelers might reconsider their visit to the U.S., citing COVID-19 and an equal number pointing to violent crimes. Other major concerns include terrorism, anti-China bias and geopolitical tensions. The figures are troubling to a tourism industry that has increasingly come to depend on China. But as I look at this market and as I see truly the guests that we have, the people who are coming in from China, the individuals who are coming in from Asia as, as a whole, is tremendous. The percentage of our total overall um, guest count is much larger than I've seen. The organizers of the survey suggest that travel companies and destinations should provide safety information in their sales targeting Chinese consumers in order to attract more visitors. It is Tianshan, CGTN, Los Angeles.